all right guys hold on i just want to have a little what's up youtube this is the day the lord has made we are going to be glad and rejoice in it Halle, halle. i am actually um we are actually uh, going to hunt down some more homeless today i was supposed to did it yesterday but i didn't have all that i needed and and so my order got delivered yesterday and so i'm gonna go and do it today oh y'all excuse me y'all like i said the climate has changed here in toledo and i'm gonna have to start taking something for my immune system because i refuse to catch a cold i'm not doing that okay uh, but listen, I want to encourage you guys. Let me give you a scripture. Isaiah 58, verse 7 through 9. It says, and I'm paraphrasing this, okay? But in Isaiah 58, verses 7 through 9, it says, Share your food with the homeless. Clothe them if they need to be clothed. Don't ignore uh, them. And then if you go down to verse 8, it says that the Lord will heal your wounds. Verse 9, it says that you will call on the Lord and I will say, I am here with you. So in this scripture, not only does it give you instructions, you know what I'm saying, to support the homeless, to be a blessing to the homeless. But don't you know that if you need healing in your body, that blessing the homeless would get god to put that in overdrive more your healing and don't you know that god will answer your prayer he will respond i am here with you so i just want to encourage you this video is not just to say that that that's what i'm doing and things like that but i want to motivate you to go out and sow into the homeless right um you may not always have it to give to tithes all right tithing goes far more than just giving money to the church you know that right tithing could be you tithe your time to the lord only tithing could be that you are helping the homeless sowing seed can mean that you are sowing into the lives of others so you never know you never know what god will use to bless you you see what i'm saying and it goes far beyond blessings okay but this is something that should make your heart feel warm and fuzzy on the inside right <laughs> this is something that you want to do right and honestly i feel in my heart that this needs to be considered a lifestyle you may ask yourself how helping the homeless is a lifestyle well one thing i learned about lifestyle change is that when you are considering doing a lifestyle change it is something to not only better yourself but it's something to enhance your life and when you make um serving the homeless a lifestyle you are also benefiting them and enhancing them more by showing them the true love of God because they may not know who God is they may not never heard God you can actually be the light in their dark place you see what I'm saying so you never know how God will use you to bless all right if you want healing in your body feed the homeless Isaiah 58 tells you that if you need God to respond to you feed the homeless isaiah 58 and there are other scriptures that backs that up you see what i'm saying so yeah so it goes far beyond blessings but it shows people who the love of god is through you all right so we are about to head out all right <sighs> y'all sorry oh. all right uh i promise you that sounded nasty i know but there was nothing that came out, okay? But my throat is a little dry. Oh, my God. All right, guys. So, we are about to head out. And we are about to hunt down some homeless people to bless. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are about to go back into the neighborhood that I was in um, Friday, and we're going to see if we can actually hunt down 
um, some homeless to bless. Like I said, uh, y'all, read the scripture. Scripture tells you everything you need to know concerning what God um, says about the homeless and what he wants us as his daughters and sons to do concerning um, those people. It's right there in black and white what God wants us to do concerning them. Um, so we're about to go back towards that Walmart. Remember I went to that Walmart that I usually would go to and um, there was nobody that was there or whatnot. So we are going to go back up to that Walmart and we are going to see um, if someone is there, if not, of course, we are going to go to another location and see, you know what I'm saying, what is well. We actually, this time, we may go down a little farther and to see if we can find somebody. Because, like I said, the last time I went, um, there was no one there um, at the post where they usually are. And so we are going to go down just a little farther in this neighborhood to see um, what is what. And this is the neighborhood that I stay in for right now anyway. So, yeah, y'all. Y'all, I'm expecting God to allow me to move before March, God's willing. Like I said, I turned in my notice to vacate. Uh, months ago because they told me that I can do that but my lease is not over with until um, the 1st of April but I'm asking God to permit me to be able to move before then because I'm just ready I'm ready I'm ready you know what I'm saying because I'm ready to be in a more safe and better updated upgraded neighborhood you see what I'm saying where and I say this with all due respect, you know, but I get tired of I get tired of smelling weed. I get tired of the rap music. I get tired of seeing all these young books, you know what I'm saying, acting crazy and things like that. Like I'm you know, so I will say this much. The neighborhood that we are going to be in next, yeah, I doubt we see people like that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Um, but yeah, it's more of a strict neighborhood, which is what I want. And so, yeah, I'm excited about that. I am so indeed ready for that. Yeah, I had already started packing stuff already. So, uh, when I tell you, I'm for real. Like, yeah, I'm for real. Also, let me tell you guys what I did today as well. And I also encourage my husband, my, my future husband, my future husband uh, to do it as well. Because I shared with him the things that I shared with you guys. So today, as you guys know, on um, Friday, I had given you guys uh, strategies on how to, you know what I'm saying, get God to move on your behalf concerning uh, different things and while I'm talking to you guys I am paying attention to to, to make sure I don't miss uh, anybody but anyway so um today I set my alarm my uh, not my alarm clock but I set a timer I set a timer for um uh, to read scripture right I I set it for like 15 minutes no, I said it for 40 minutes. I see you, God. God gave me another sign. <laughs> I see you, God. I see you. I seen another Lexus. Those who, those who uh, don't know, yeah. Those who have who follow me knows what it means to me when I see a Lexus. Okay, so yeah, just seen a Lexus. I seen one Sunday, and I seen one today. I thought it was hilarious that God was doing that. But anyway, guys, um. So today, I ended up finding scripture. I found three scriptures, three scriptures that I'm going to share with you guys. And these scriptures, I was reading back to back, back to back, back to back. 
Now the next thing I gotta do when I get back home is to pray those scriptures. Is to pray those scriptures. And guess what guys? Found somebody. We are about to bless him. y'all was like wait a minute <laughs> i did some ghetto driving right there but i saw two homeless people so i know y'all was probably like oh my gosh she about to wreck now nah. god got me believe me when i tell you he wasn't gonna let me wreck okay Hey, you go. Thank you so much. God bless you. Anytime. Be blessed, okay? Oh, sweet. You have such a cutie. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, guys. So, and here is number two. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a blessed day. You, Drive safe. You too. All right, guys. So we don't feed two homeless people already. That's for sure. So we are going to look for some more people. I knew I was going to find somebody there because I usually always spot them right there at that location. And I was so shocked that day that I didn't see them or what have you. So, yeah. Now we are going to go over there in the area where my church is at or whatnot. And we're going to see if we see some there because I got like. Maybe like four, four more uh, plates, if you will. Well, four more bags because honestly, I gotta go and get some more things to add into the um, into the boxes. So the box that I gave the first gentleman um, was uh, it had um, like a snack cake in there and something else. So I gotta go and get some more. And the rest of them was like this right here. Let me show y'all. Oh, I can't right now. Hold on. All right, guys. Sorry about that. So, but yeah, so what I did today is I found some scripture that talks about healing. Okay, so let me give y'all a little background story. So, I asked the Lord to deliver me and completely heal me of type 2 diabetes once before. And he did that. I no longer am a type 2 diabetic. Um, there is no diabetes in my bloodstream. There is nothing concerning diabetes in my body. When I tell you that God truly indeed healed me from diabetes, he did. So don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that you cannot be healed from diabetes. Because let me tell you something. God is a healer, okay? You are his creation okay and because god created you he can heal you all right so don't ever ever let anybody tell you what cannot be done the bible says is there anything too hard for the lord and the answer is no there is nothing that is too hard for god okay so i just want to throw that out there because i have seen some videos where it says that type 2 um diabetes cannot be reversed and so forth and so forth and so forth listen i'm here to tell you when you are created by the hand of god nothing is impossible for god to do nothing and just for the record yes type 2 is um, type 2 is reversible and also it's another thing too don't let nobody tell you you know what I'm saying that 
don't let nobody tell you that um yeah you can reverse it but you can still have it and things like that no we ain't gonna decree and declare that we're going to declare decree constant healing okay like true deliverance all right so if you want to be completely healed from type 2 diabetes diabetes guess what decree and declare that thing read scripture back to back and pray those scriptures back to back and i'm telling you do the work and watch god handle it for you he did it for me he'll do it for you all right because i am created by him he is my creator all right so therefore anything that requires something to be done for me god is the one to do it so let me just go on and throw that out there um but so god delivered me wholeheartedly completely from type 2 diabetes you see what i'm saying so now i ask the lord to heal me from graves and which is an autoimmune uh deficiency if you will or what have you i ask the lord to completely rid me of that science says that they cannot be um they cannot be reversed or it cannot be cured listen i'm again i'm gonna tell you if you are created by the hand of god and you are created by the hand of god there is nothing that god cannot heal okay and so i asked the lord to uh, touch my thyroid to allow my thyroid to be normal functioning and not overactive aka hyper um or what have you or not to go hypo but that it will be exactly where it needs to be and that it will function the way that god created it to function right so i started I have a book that I had bought when I was going through it um, with the thyroid or so whatnot. What I didn't know anything about thyroid and things like that or whatnot. And um, I bought this book. I don't know what made me buy it, but it had to be number God, honestly. And um, so I bought about two books from the same author because she is real good. And she gave, oh, excuse me. She gave, um, real detailed information on how to be cured from hyperthyroid and hypothyroidism and how to be cured for any autoimmune and things like that baby listen i'm telling you i'm on chapter two in that book right now because like i said I, re I read it before but i'm reading it again and i am applying what is said along with scripture and bible and uh, you know what i'm saying along with doing healthy things and i think i fed him before if he's the same person um that was um if he was the same person that i saw monday with the dog because you know i fed rover too look i don't named him <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Amy with my hand in my face, y'all. I'm sorry. I got a phone charger. So, I'm gonna go and get him two sandwiches. Because I got, like, two more left. So, if this is the same person, I'm gonna have to go through the... Oh, yeah, it is the same person with Rover. Look, I just don't name this dog, y'all. Don't don't judge me, okay? Cause I don't know the name of this dog, but I just named him Rover. But I'm about to go and feed him and Rover. So yeah. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. Here you go. You can give one to your dog too. I think so. No problem. You guys have a good day. You too. Oh, oh, he's a chow. 
Is your dog a chow? Uh, no, he's a rottweiler mixed with a rough collie. Oh, so cute. Yeah, he's a big teddy bear. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Rover is so pretty. He was. Here goes some water too, also. Okay. Appreciate it. No problem. Come on. Rover was hungry. Rover was like, thank you, Jesus. He was a cutie. Alright guys, so I got like two more. Y'all hear say I think I got like one, two. Alright, so I'm gonna show y'all what they look like, y'all. So this ain't nothing fancy. Like y'all can do stuff like this. Nothing fancy. You see what I'm saying? Like you can you can use what you got at home to bless somebody. You see what I'm saying? Like literally, I'm trying to think of the story. And that's God did this just a moment ago. There's a story that talks about the uh, the jar oil in the jar and how the one. It must be made to come down this way because I was not trying to come down this way. Let me go back. I did this before. When it talks about the oil in the jar and how she didn't know how she was going to get things uh, taken care of and. And so, you know, she had the prophet in the house, and the prophet asked her, you know what I'm saying, for some a jar or something. I can't recall. I'm gonna find that scripture and post it there, cause right now I'm paraphrasing, cause I'm going off memory, and I'm I'm still learning how to quote scriptures, you know what I'm saying, by memory or whatnot. And sometimes I still <laughs> struggle with it, like case of what I'm doing now. But anyway, long story short. Uh, at the end of the story, she had everything that she needed because the oil was never running out. You see what I'm saying? So what am I saying to you? And that is, use what you got to bless somebody. You will never run out if you do that. that. God will bless you in a way that he can only bless you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, my church is over here too. Like I said, I always come over here too. Uh, after I leave from the Walmart area, I think I may go back over there. I'm gonna go down first a little bit. I'm gonna pass Walmart to see if I see anybody else over there. And if I don't, then I'm gonna go back up to that Walmart. And if they are still up there, I give them the rest of the plates. Where well, the rest of the bags that I have, cause I only got two more. Wait a minute, is somebody right there? I don't know. Wait. Oh, I saw somebody right there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to pass the Walmart first. And then, I'm going to, um, yeah. I need to go to, I need to go to, um, Kroger's too. Because, yeah, I need to do that too. I need to. Yeah, I just passed by something um, that I'm praying and asking the Lord if this is the right place for me and so forth. Fowler, like what combination, like for real? He he and he looked more collie than rock roller though, but his face was indeed a rock roller. But his whole body says collie. He was cute. He was hungry too. That dog wasn't playing with it. He like, Dad, gonna give me this food, okay? That was from Sadie. Sadie, you blessing another dog? Say, yeah, ma. But yeah, y'all, y'all know I'm silly like that. But yeah, guys, and it feels good to do it. Like honestly, it really, really, really feels good to be able to bless somebody. You see what I'm saying? Like, honestly, 
and it goes far like i said it goes far beyond blessings you know what i'm saying just receiving a blessing no this right here shows how god is really using you you see what i'm saying the blessing is just um it's just a award you see what i'm saying for for doing the action but it shows how far god has truly brought you to the point that you are able to be a blessing to somebody else you see what i'm saying like that's that's that to me goes far beyond you know what i'm saying like god has truly blessed you to the point where you can bless somebody else you know like i said it's all it's not all about it's not all about taking but sometimes you just have to learn how to give and allow others to be able to receive from you let god use you to be a blessing you see what i'm saying Cause see, honestly, the reason why <laughs> the reason why I did that at first, how I drove, was because I just so had I didn't see that other homeless person right there until after the fact, and so yeah, so I'm gonna have to do it like a turnaround. So um, yeah, and y'all, if I can be honest, don't get me wrong, I do shop at Walmart clearly. However. I don't like going in the store. I don't. I do not like going in the store at all. All right, so I'm about to get him double. And I'm gonna get this other man double. Yeah, I'm just gonna give y'all the last ones of it. Thank you so much. No problem. God bless you again. God bless, God bless you. you. <laughs> Is the other man still here? Yeah, he's still right there. So I'm gonna give it to him. Here you go again. Thank you. You're welcome. You, you too. Alright guys, so now we are about to uh there he go right there. Uh that's the gentleman uh, that I just blessed to God be the glory. Uh so now we are about to go to Rogers, but I'm thinking I think I may need to wait first and go home because I need to make sure that I need I need to make sure that I have all the ingredients uh, set. I'm doing dinner. Um so my future husband will be here soon. And so I'm doing a dinner for him for his arrival. So I, I need to write down a list before I just really go to the store and do that. 
I will not. But yeah. And y'all will meet him one day. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna just he ain't too keen about being on video yet. So yeah, but eventually, God's willing, he will be. I can introduce you and we can do like a how we met type situation. Y'all like that? I'm pretty sure y'all will. Alright, so we're gonna probably go to well, you know what? Nope. Because I don't came over here on this end now. So, But yeah, y'all. So, we just blessed some homeless or whatnot. And I hope that it motivated you and encouraged you to want to do the same. Because it will make you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside real and like I said before if you're looking for healing in your body Isaiah 58 I already done told you what to do you just gotta do it if you need God to respond to a prayer that you have prayed uh, that you have put before him Isaiah 58 verse 9 told you that you know what I'm saying that he will respond to you you just gotta do what he says before he got to that verse then you'll be able to do it It's your girl Amanda, and we just we just bless some homeless with Amanda Tucker. All right, all right, guys. Peace out, and your girl is out.